everybody, it's Annette with the Art of Intuition, and today we're going to talk about dreaming with the dead. Dreams are a magnificent place to communicate with people who have died. Lucille Ball had a friend who died in a plane crash, and she would come back to her in her dreams. And one of the dreams she said, Lucy, baby, you got to get into TV, chicky. And the rest is television history. Lucy Ball's mother also came back to her in her dream state and gave her advice on different businesses she should look at. So don't ever discount what is said to you in the dreams by someone who has passed on. Remember, the distance between the living and the dead is as thin as the edge of a leaf. It's just them at a different vibration than we're at. Now remember, just because someone is dead does not mean they're at a higher consciousness level than you are. So be open to what you hear, but see if it feels right to you. Now a lot of people will say, how come I can only communicate with the dead in my dreams? Well, you can communicate with the dead also in the waking state. If someone's trying to get in touch with you in the dream state, they're probably also trying to get in touch with you in the waking state. This can go into telepathy, and telepathy can also happen with people who have passed over. It's really no difference. Our mind, our logical mind separates all this stuff out. There's no difference. We see a difference, but there isn't a difference. When you get into a lot of people who talk to the dead in the waking state, they're just a little more open to it. They're a little more conscious of it. When we dream, we're not as, you know, stuck in the physical body. We don't have our guard up. So we're able to see and be open to everyone who's trying to send us messages. So next time your grandma comes calling in her dream state, be open to what grandma has to say. Her advice might be pretty amazing. And keep practicing the art of intuition.